here and then we have the timeline window open and the game window open and from here we can see how the cutscene uh, looks like and then we can like pause and so modify nice. uh, real time so like hmm i want uh, some wind here and then i can uh, have this list of activation objects that i can activate uh, on a specific time frame so like over here you can see this active layer is uh, this uh... oh shit oh, it's the winds <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... they cause the thing to give up or no what did you say i uh, uh, never mind uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh this is so great so mm -hmm. we can do everything real time and we every like specific object that's uh, uh, linked to the cutscene we have in this prefab so everything is contained so when we load it in all the lights and uh, objects related to the cutscene is being loaded uh, yes, there's some specific lighting it's... often to make it look like some scenes will in this scene for instance a lot of scenes will look too dark in, in when trying to show the expressions of even and to have unique lights on her face and stuff like that it... yeah exactly uh, we have lots of manually placed light lights so who in the team is actually um doing this like is there any storyboarding that's done for these cutscenes? who sits down and sets up the camera angles who's actually doing all of that i can explain a little bit of the process i do have a lot of oh, yeah, please. storyboards that i gotta make sure they're not spoilery uh, but but uh, uh i can check in my, on my window here just an example yeah <laughs> you just showed me that one leo i hope they're so not we, i want to see these <laughs> Mat yeah. matthias lorenson uh, one of our technical artists he is the one who's like taking a chunk out of, uh, of the environment from here putting into studio, studio max um setting up the characters where they stand like providing the scene with all the characters and the basic blockouts um to uh, and and he does does that first and then back into unity to set out all, all the cameras and uh because you gotta reset the cameras in unity you can't use the same cameras in max for some reason <laughs> and and then and then um uh, and then uh, export it back into max and then give that scene to uh, the animator who fleshes it out and makes it uh, look nice and that way it's very it's easy to uh, reiterate on cutscenes and and uh, yeah, just just um, overwrite uh, uh, old cutscenes in in uh, Unity that have just had an update in their animation or a tweak. So the, Matthias always placed the foundation, and I would draw the, the storyboards based on the script that, that me and uh, Ryan North wrote, and um, uh, give that to Matthias first. To we would talk. Luckily, he was in the studio. We, we, we talked together. Uh, and and uh, so um, and 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 he, he um, sorry excuse me I, I don't the ball <laughs> and he, he and we would talk together just how how the camera would move and and it's easy to explain with hand moves movements and stuff like that mm -hmm. and he would set it up and we would just bounce back and forth. Um, I know we originally yeah. wanted to actually have Matthias on the the stream because he has like a lot of knowledge behind the camera system, how to use cinema machine virtual cameras and stuff like that. So. Um, if you guys are interested in that, maybe that can be a dev talk that we can work with you guys on in the future. That would be kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So I'm just uh, looking in our animation folder here. And uh, for that scene, who animated that one? That's a good question. Uh, but I can just look for some something fun here. We have in Two Town where you meet Seymour, um, one of the... Uh, yeah, I wonder if I can show my i think it's safe for me to show my google drive here what do you, do you see anything that i can just show my screen with everything you can uh, just show are you okay with showing that uh, yeah i think it, there's no secrets here or anything uh, offensive <laughs> but, uh, yeah uh, no yeah. everything looks good uh, okay. so yeah so we'll share here is um, all our screen oh uh, yeah so oh yeah so so here we have uh, have uh, so yeah you can you can sh show it uh, uh, yeah so we have uh, the script we have the storyboard so I would usually just do do as quick as possible 
This is where you meet the Seymour in in um, in Two Town, one of the characters that will help you repair Dicey. And uh, yeah, just very basic storyboards as quick as possible, and then it's more easy to uh, talk directly to Matthias in this case, mm. and he will will just iterate upon this. And there's actually going to be uh, yeah, we're going to showcase on the um, on social media more of these kind of uh, 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 storyboards and scripts to to um, yeah, to show the process uh, these kind of videos showing the cutscene and the storyboard there you have the you have the script like that and this is the file that I first give to Matthias and then to the animator complete with maybe some uh, video references in this case if you see oh sorry if you see here <laughs> uh, he kind of lands he falls from 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 a, from a top and lands on dicey pulls him out of uh he's behind and uh, and this is the <laughs> reference for that for the animator uh, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> 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 I love this. <laughs> and uh, it was a really great way to team build over distance as well just looking silly in the camera uh, and uh, yeah what is this uh, oh, so oh yeah, he cute. just landed from the... I don't what know. Is yeah. This is so I, interesting. I, 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 I promised there wouldn't be anything offensive, but uh, maybe this is offensive to someone. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> and, um, I don't know if uh, you ever yeah. saw, but uh, Wes Anderson... Uh, when he was making, I think it was Fantastic Mr. Fox. There was a great documentary on how he actually created it, And that's what he did. He was such a intense control freak over how every scene was animated that they was had anderson to... a control freak what, <laughs> yeah. what? what? Yeah. <laughs> i'm just telling from looking at one of his scenes <laughs> yeah. but they had to build a custom like intranet so that he can like upload all the little animations that he did for every scene so it was just like a massive internal mm. network that he would just film himself for every single scene to give to the animators like oh, wow. day Damn. in and day out and i thought that was so funny that's, crazy. <laughs> like, oh, that's a yeah. lot of work <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, me and Victor Becker we would kind of split the, the animation reference work to the anim like the animation directing. He would take gameplay animations, and I would take cutscene stuff. And and in some cases, it would be really it's a really early version of this of this scene actually, <laughs> uh, with some obvious yeah, it's a block out. <laughs> uh, my butt, he asks. Uh, this is the one where yeah, you could see the actually. Uh, <laughs> Final pass. <laughs> Does the sound work? No, I don't think we're pulling any sound. <laughs> oh, there's no audio from the video. Oh, shame. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's a great actor. But it's uh, Lucas Schooneman. He, but you would have seen this soon in our uh, social media. The, the yeah, we'll compare too. it. I'll clip uh, your little video and then we can share it. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this his eye for some reason? Uh, and um, <laughs> he's going to double check if we have also... Yeah, we have this kind of... Yeah, the the yeah we have a recording sometimes maybe with all the voice. We, oh yeah, the most important part is of course the timing, and we, we had a budget for for keeping the cutscenes a certain length. Uh, we can actually stop sharing the Google Drive if you, drive if you want. And and uh, thanks. And and um, uh, we actually had yeah we would start out with the voice acting, cutting the lines, <clears throat> and I would put them together uh, uh, in a sound file just finding like the correct timing while also trying to cut just enough to to make it as short as possible just the shorter the cheaper of course and uh, then that would work as a foundation sometimes with my recording on top and like and then he walks up and, and he looks really imposing or or he, he uh yeah, trying to explain whatever can be explained through just a storyboard or or what recording is going on and, and uh, uh, yeah so that would help the timing that we would that Matthias would um, base the, the, the block out of the cutscene on them and then mm -hmm. send on over to the animator. <laughs>